In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a full glam look perfect for any special occasion. And you can adapt this to make it work for you. So let's get started. We're going to start this look off with the eyes. And as always, we're going to apply an eyeshadow primer. So an eyeshadow primer gives your shadows something to hold on to. So they're going to last longer for you. And because this is tinted, it actually is going to create a blank canvas for us to work on as well. So we just want to apply this all over the lid, right up to the brows. If you don't have a primer, you can always use a little bit of concealer and a setting powder instead. To create any eye makeup look, you really want to just focus on a few different areas. The lid area, this is where we're going to do a lot of work today. The crease area, where the lid creases into the eye shape, this is where you do a lot of your blending and softening. And then also the brow bone area. I also split the lid into three sections. So we have an inner section, middle and outer section. Now for this look, we're going to use mostly these four eyeshadows. We have a highlight, which is at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, a contour, which should be at least one shade darker, and then a mid-tone or a transition shade, which is an in-between of the contour and the highlight. And we also have a fade shade. This is basically a pop of color that we're going to use to help blend everything really nicely. Don't get scared of it. It's actually really fun to use. And I'm also going to be applying some glitter. So I like to use a shimmering eyeshadow as a base and then apply the glitter over the top. For brushes, you're going to need two different types, a pencil brush and a blending brush. And I would actually recommend having two blending brushes if you can. And I would also recommend having a concealer brush handy because we will be cutting the crease. So we're going to start off with the mid-tone and we're going to apply this over and back in the crease of the eye. So blending this deep in the crease and then softly blending it upwards towards the brow bone. Apply a little bit at a time and slowly build this up. You can also apply a little bit of the shadow just on the outer edge of the eye and then deep into the crease just to finish. And you should eventually end up with a look like this. A little on the lid and also in the crease. We're next going to take our contour shade and we're going to apply this in the outer third and I'm using that pencil brush just to stamp this on the outer third of the lid. And I also like to tap this in the crease of the eye and I find the best way to do this is to raise your eyebrow. You kind of expose the crease a little bit. And this just stops you from blending it up too high in the crease. We want to keep it nice and low. Your mid-tone should always be higher. And then you want to go in with your blending brush and I'm using the clean blending brush, holding it at the base of the brush and blending this over and back. Next, we're going to take some concealer. I'm going to take that concealer brush that I was talking about earlier. I've squashed it in between my fingertips to make sure it's really flat or you can press it onto a pellet. And you should create that beautiful sharp shaping. And I'm also going to keep a handy mirror really close by. So what I do is I look down in the mirror. I rest my pinky on the side of my cheek. And I basically repaint and carve out my lid. So starting in that inner corner, I go right up to the edge of the lid and then pull it downwards. So go right up to the edges and then pull it downwards. And then go in with your highlighter shade and apply that over the top of it. And as you can see, the highlighter is just going to go on so much brighter. I also take a very small amount of this and just apply it underneath the brow bone as well. So what we have now is a contrast between a light and a dark. So that highlight and the contour. And we need to blend the two of them together to get rid of this harsh line. So then we take our fade shade and I'm going to apply the fade shade using my clean blending brush and just tap this basically in between the two. Use a very, very small amount of your fade shade. A little goes a long way, but it does create a beautiful soft fade. Now we're going to add the glitter. So we're going to use the glittering eyeshadow as a base, tapping this all over the lid. 
We're not looking for anything opaque because we don't want to cover up what we've already applied. We're just tapping this to pick up a little bit of the glitter. And then we're going in with the glitter liner, which is really easy to use. If you're looking to apply glitter, get yourself some glitter liners and basically just tap this over everything else that we've applied. We're going to line right by the lashes now, just using a liquid liner. It's not going to be winged out, so don't panic. Don't worry about it. It's just coating right by the lashes. And this will just help your mascara look a little deeper and darker. but I will be applying some falsies. Now I've applied a cream on my waterline, so the inner rim of the eye, and then I'm applying a black right underneath that, and this will create that kind of bigger eye effect. And then going back in with a bit of that contour shade, you can kind of go around the edges just to soften out the black. And I also like to take my pinky and just kind of smudge it a little bit. And then just repeat this process on the other eye, and we're gonna move on to the face. So the first thing I like to do is refresh my skin using a hydrating spray and a toner. So I just cover up my eyes a little bit and just spray the mist all over. It just really feels refreshed. And this toner is one of my favorites for refreshing my skin. It always makes my makeup just last longer and go on better. Highly recommend it. Then you wanna take your moisturizer Obviously, I really love this one. And also your primer, and you want to apply this over the skin. I love this moisturizer. It feels so good, and it smells really nice. And then my favorite primer of all time, I literally only ever use this primer. It's so good. Then once the skin is all ready to go, you then want to grab your concealer, your foundation, and also your powder. So the main areas that I like to get the most coverage from is underneath my eyes and alongside the edge of my nose. A lot of women have hormonal redness around the edge of their nose, so bear that in mind. And then you also want extra coverage on any blemishes that you might have too. So I actually start off with my concealer and I'm going to be using the neutralizing concealer. So this is actually a slightly different one from the light to dark that Maybelline have. It's the neutralizing one and I really love it. I apply this underneath my eyes, alongside the edge of my nose, around the edge of my nose, a little bit on my jawline, and around my mouth. Basically kind of brightening while adding a little bit extra coverage. And you're going to look a little crazy, but <laughs> we're going to blend it out. You next want to take your foundation brush. I'm going to be using this flat top kabuki style brush. And you also want to keep your powder brush handy for later. So taking that foundation brush, I'm basically going to bounce this off and on the skin to blend out that concealer. I want you to remember to keep the brush flat against the skin. Don't push it to the side or push too much on the brush. You want to bounce this off and on the skin and this will blend out the concealer for you while also holding on to the coverage. And then I'm going to take my foundation, and I love this one by Giorgio Armani. Get a little bit on the back of my hands, and I just kind of place this either all over my skin, or I will spread it out on the back of my hand to pick it up with my brush. You only ever want to cover the white tips of these brushes, because otherwise you'll clog up the brush, and you'll end up using too much foundation. So spread everything out, or spread it onto the face to begin with, and it's that same bouncing motion where you just tap it off and on the skin over and over again until you blend everything out. And the foundation and the concealer give me about 90% of my coverage, but I do want to add a little bit more to it. So the first thing that I do is I use a setting spray, and this will just lock in what we've already applied. And then I take my Mineral Powder Foundation. So this will give me extra coverage because it is a powder foundation. It's not just a powder. We're using that powder brush that I was talking about earlier. And you basically want to apply this all over the skin using a very small amount to begin with and building this up over time. Now the setting spray will make sure that we have a really good base to set everything in place with so that our powders aren't going to be holding onto the skin too much but this will give you extra coverage. So if you're looking to add a little extra coverage to your concealer and your foundation routine, try adding in a powder foundation instead of using a translucent one. I absolutely love this. If you don't already know, it's one of my favorites. 
Now we're going to move on to contouring, highlighting, blush. I'm taking my contour first, which is a matte shade, about one shade darker than your own skin tone. And I'm using a foundation brush, which actually has an angle. And what I do is I follow the natural shaping of my jawline. So I kind of do a few funny faces just to see where the line is. Or you can actually feel for the hollow of the cheek and just kind of follow that instead. It's up to yourself which way you want to do it, and it depends on your lighting as well and your face shape, but try and just follow your own natural shaping. And then do around the hairline as well, and what I do is I go across until I get to about the arch of my brow, and then I work upwards over the top. And this will just create that nice framework around the hairline. Using your brow arch is a really good indicator on where to stop and start. So for the cheekbones, you don't want to go past this point. And on the hairline, you can bring that contour all the way over, but once you reach your arch, you need to start going up and over. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer. So bronzer is basically very similar to the contour, except it has a shimmer to it. And I've gone for something with a gold undertone. And for my blush, I'm actually going to be using a coral undertone. So they work really well together with this particular eye look. Starting with a little bit of that bronzer just on those cheeks, just to give them a little bit more of a lift. And then taking that blush, I'm just going to tap this over the top of the cheeks, blending upwards towards the ear. But I always like to go back in with my powder brush and just soften out any harsh lines because I don't like too much blush. One of my favorite brushes is this one for applying highlighter. And I couldn't find the best highlighter to use, so I ended up using an eyeshadow. But I love this brush because it's so soft and gentle on the skin. And it comes in the same set that we've been using this entire time, which is the Blanc Canvas Cosmetics Marble Brush Set. And I really just tap this where I want the light to catch. So just tilt your head from side to side and see where you want to have that nice glow. I also go in with another setting spray. This is one of my favorites. It really locks in the glow. And then to finish off the look, I used a nude lip liner to start with, which is in a neutral nude. And then I went in with a liquid lipstick that has more of like a yellowy orange undertone. And this will just bring the entire look together. And it'll work really nicely with the eyes. And that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely let me know if you have any more questions. Check out the other videos on the screen. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I will see you in the next one.